hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we will discuss how we can install ssrs and ssis in our machine so that we can create ssrs reports and ssis uh, uh, integration projects in visual studio for dynamics 365 to understand if you have already installed visual studio then if you go to sh uh, start menu and search visual studio you will see uh, visual studio in your machine if you have not installed visual studio you have to install that visual studio here you can uh, install visual studio in this link uh, you can install community edition which is free now once you install this community edition for visual studio 2019 then you will see that visual studio option available in start menu and visual studio installer will also be available for you now so this is the first step of installing visual studio then installing the visual studio installer then the next process is you have to open you have to enable database connect database uh, tools for this uh, visual studio installer so open visual studio installer app from start menu then once it will open you have to click on modify option so that it will provide the interface to add your required sql database tools so that we can create sql reporting uh, projects or sql uh, integration service projects without any issue so here click on modify you will find visual studio community 2019 click on modify and once you click on modify you will see if you scroll down so whatever projects you have already installed it will see tick marked it will be tick marked but if you scroll down you will see the database project is not tick marked so tick mark so that the sql server data tools will be available then click on modify once you click on modify it will install so choose one option to install while downloading then click on modify so it will try to install all the required components for your uh, sql data server data server projects so that you can create sql ser sql server uh, reporting services and integration projects so it will take some time so once it is successful then you can see if you again uh, go to modify you can check that tick mark is that database option is tick marked that means you have enabled that integration service and uh, report service projects for your installation right now this is the second step first step is check installing visual studio next enabling the database projects next you have to check whether you have so you have to open the visual studio 2019 to check if your uh, extensions are available or not now click on uh, now click on go click on uh, proceed without any code now you can click on file you can also uh, so second step is you have to enable the extension sorry i have uh, skipped the uh, third stage so you have to go to extensions then here you have to install all required components which are which are part of your service projects and integration projects so search here integration project first let us search report now you can see here the microsoft sql server report designer will be available here so you have to install one by one the uh, report server uh, service packages integration service packages then analysis service projects so three things you have to install because these are enabled as an extension it's not required to install any other application rather using this uh, extension vs uh, xi extension you can install the required application so it will take some seconds just wait now for this it require uh, requests visual studio 2019 so you can download the community edition of 2019 from internet from microsoft site which is free so once you have installed then modify the visual studio installer then install this uh, extensions so first uh, server pro service project report service project is done then we have to search for analysis or integration project now this is the integration project if you click on download it will open in a browser where you can download the exe file for integration project you have to 
it will provide the uh, you know exe file that you can download here otherwise let us first search the analysis service because it uh, downloads the integration project downloads a exe file so we'll go to that later stage first install the reporting service now click on this then you have to wait till it is installed so these are all the you know prerequisites before working on any ssirs project or ssis project in uh, which are connecting to dynamics 365 uh, data so because people are still facing issues in installing this actually so that's why i have preferred this video so that you can successfully install once everything is installed successfully then you can start working on different projects of ssrs or ssis right so it's trying to install just wait it will take some couple of seconds now once it is installed the next thing is we have to install dynamics 365 page based service because whenever you create any SSI, ssrs project uh, you have to connect to a data source and sql server oracle all things are available but uh, if you want to connect to dynamics 365 server then it requires a special reporting author extension which will enable dynamics 365 page based service or connection so that we can fetch data from dynamics 365 to ssrs projects so that we can create reports and after that report is completed we can embed that report in an rdl file in dynamics 365 report then everything is done so this is the first stage once all installed then let us wait for some seconds it is trying to install now so it's going to install and it is going to complete now yeah now it's completed now next thing is let us uh, let us install the integration we have installed a reporting service now we will install uh, sql server integration projects when you click that uh, download it will download your exe file here in in desktop and just click on save as to desktop and try to install that now it will, it will take some time to download because this is 400 mb so it will uh, download in your machine and once it is successfully uh, downloaded you can double click to install now you see once you uh, uh, enable the reporting service uh, extensions in your visual studio you have to close your visual studio then once you close the extensions are uh, installing in background you can see here this screen is providing to uh, providing for you so that it's it is configuring the extensions for reporting service and analysis service and keep aside now open, install the integration service so we can install both parallelly now click on next so this is integration service project and in the background uh, reporting service is getting installed now click on next and click on install now it will try to check the prerequisites and try to install in your machine right so it will take some time it is trying to install now it is trying to you know uh, checking uh, check the prerequisites if we, everything meets correctly now it will so if you can see the uh, last extension reporting author extension and uh, uh, the analysis service extension is already successfully done in the left side box it is uh, done in background so now it will successfully install right now both is installed right now so reporting server extension and analysis service extension is done now this sql server integration service project is also installed so we have done our basic installations for sql server integration project ssrs 
and SSAS. Now create a new project by opening Visual Studio. Here you can search reports. Right? Just search report. Or you can use integration. Now you can click on integration service project. Now give your name. So let's say Dynamics 365 integration project SSIS. Then once you give a name, you can click on next. So choose a location where you want to store this SSIS project. Now it will create a SSIS project folder in your machine, uh, the directory you have chosen. And uh, once the project is created, you can add control flow and data flow, which will connect to your source database and you know the target database. Normally, this SS SSIS projects are required uh, to connect your on-premise data set, data sources uh, for Dynamics 365. But if it is online, you should use something like uh, Kingsoft and other wrappers that use actually SSIS to migrate data. Now this is the project SSIS project. You can click on data flow so that it will add some. Uh, it will open the canvas where you can add data flow or destination flow or data um, source assistant assistance or uh, destination assistant by adding the toolbox. Right. Now this is not uh, this video is not for uh, you know creating any projects. We are just in installation page. Once it is installed, we can create some more videos so that we can show you here you can see this databases you can connect from your SSIS but you can see the uh, Dynamics 365 is not available here so in my further videos I will tell you how Dynamics 365 is connected how I can connect to a legacy database uh, SQL server to push data to Dynamics 365 what are the options available in SSIS okay so if you want to let's say you have a flat file you can also connect a flat file so like that if you want to create SS SSRS uh, projects you can open visual studio and search reporting here reports and once you search here you can see SQL server reporting server project click on and click next now give a name of this uh, reporting server uh, service project uh, reporting service SSRS is used to create reports right like SSIS is used to Mig uh, to migrate data from one system to another system for, and used for migration but uh, SSRS is used to create reports that we can integrate in Dynamics. Now this SSRS report uh, you know uh, Visual Studio project is created now we can add data sources and you can add um, data sets then we can add reports. If you click on add data source you will see in the data, uh, data set list data source list there is no dynamics option right because you have not installed dynamics 365 reporting author right now uh, we have to install that which is important right the before going to uh, ssrs projects so this is the url uh, which gives uh, the downloadable file for your reporting author for dynamics 365 so this is nothing but the reporting author extension for sql server data tool support so to uh, use this url and click on download once you click on download it will download your reporting author extension for dynamics 365 and this is the exe file now you have to just uh, download and double click to install and once it is installed now you can if you open any ssrs project you can uh, see the dynamics 365 page service or page xml uh, connector will be available now close the as, uh, visual studio if you have already opened now once the uh, option is na uh, now once the page xml uh, the uh, uh, report authoring is downloaded you have to provide a location where you want to uh, store or extract i have chosen an option here and click ok now once it is downloaded it will ask you to install automatically it's not required to do anything now you have to select the uh, recommended option yes and uh, then click next now it will try to validate the prerequisites that already installed in the system and once it is uh, identified it will install all the reporting author helper files 
that is required to create SSRS reports. Now it's success, click on next. Now it's trying to install. Now, once it is installed, it will try. You, you have to accept the agreement and click on accept. It will tell you that something is not installed, then click on install. Right? So it's telling that the reporting author extension error reporting is not installed. It's okay, it will install. Click on install. Now it will install all the required components that are required for creating SSRS projects. So in this video, we have seen that how we install die we install visual studio 2019 community edition then we have seen how we can enable this sql data tools using uh, you know you can also use this uh, yes and install next yeah try to install next again yeah so this is the final stage so what we have seen we have seen uh, four or five steps first install visual studio 2019 community edition then use uh, visual studio installer to add database projects to enable sql server data tools then use extensions uh, visual studio extensions to enable server project report server projects analysis server uh, analysis service projects then integration service project install that exe file and uh, uh, download the exe file and install it then you have to download the uh, dynamics 365 uh, report authoring extension then we are ready to uh, work on SSRS projects and SSIS projects.